how do you determine how much to charge for a product? Listen, I understand pricing your products and feeling confident with the prices that you've set can be tricky stuff. I know it's really easy to feel not so confident about this stuff. This is why here you're going to get a simple, easy to follow strategy for pricing your products bang on every single time, no matter what it is that you're selling. How are you doing, my friend? I am Jeff from 10tononline.com. Now, here, it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business, and launching a better tomorrow. Now, how do you determine how much to charge for a product? Man, this is such a great question. It's a common question, I know. And if you've seen any of my other posts, you know that here, it's all about ripping the band-aid of fantasy land off and getting down to the real truth but what's really going on here, even if it stings. And so you and I are going to do exactly this with your pricing. We're going to get down to brass tacks so that you know exactly what you should be charging again, no matter what kind of product or what kind of service you're selling. So let's tear off the bandaid and boil away all the clutter and the nonsense. Here it is. Here's the straight truth. Check this out. This is a, by the way, a strategy for pricing that I bet you've never heard before. Check this out every single market imaginable, including the specific market or niche that you are operating within, that you're targeting in your business, every market imaginable is comprised of just three broad price tiers. The first price tier, the lowest price tier, is comprised of what is referred to as price conscious customers. Here, price is the customer's biggest concern. And by the way, these types of customers are gonna be your biggest headache in your business because they demand the most, and of course they wanna pay the least. They have no long-term loyalty to your business, again, because their top priority is the price, the lowest price, that's what they wanna pay. So they will easily switch from your company to a competitor if they can spend less money. That's the first tier. The second tier is kinda more like the mid-range tier, so here, Customers want value, they want to pay a fair price, and they want to receive good quality and value in exchange. These sorts of customers believe you get what you pay for, and they've learned that if they pay the least amount possible, then the product or the service is very likely garbage. Now, sometimes these sorts of customers can be a bit of a hassle, but they are mostly happy to buy from you so long as you are delivering value and helping them get what they want. Lastly, the third and final tier is the premium tier. Here, customers aren't concerned at all about price. They don't care how much they pay. Instead, here, it's all about things like brand recognition, top quality, and best of the best service. This is the domain of premium luxury brands. All right, now, my friend, apply what we're discussing here. Price conscious customers, mid-range or value-oriented customers, and that premium tier to any market imaginable. Cars, shoes, legal advice, camera gear, handbags, landscaping, home appliances, camping gear, and even the type of product or service that you are offering through your business. So really what we're driving at here is the price that you charge in your business is, as a matter of fact, a function of your business's branding and messaging. Let me repeat that again. It is so important for you to understand. Again, this is stripping away all the nonsense and the clutter, and this is your strategy, your method for confidently setting your prices. Again, your pricing is a function of your business's branding and messaging. What's the difference between a Walmart handbag and a Chanel handbag? The story, the brand, Quality definitely plays a factor as well. So listen, when you're trying to determine how to set your prices, first determine what kind of customer that you want to serve. And if you want to be a budget-oriented business, a value-oriented business, or a premium brand. Once you figure that out, your prices largely determine themselves. And that is your surefire pricing strategy. Now, 
Next, if you're ready to really start moving down the business fast track, if you want to get the right plan into place for yourself, then here's what to do. Point your web browser over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and enroll in your free online business workshop. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop. You work through it in your own time at your own pace. There, you're going to be given a proven roadmap that shows you the exact steps to take to get your ideas off the ground. Again, it's all about ripping off the Fantasyland Band-Aid and getting down to the truth here, moving forward with clarity and certainty. So here, it's all about the basics, understanding the basic fundamental rules to business and how all this stuff works. And it's also about minimizing your risk and maximizing your results, whether you already have some ideas and products that you want to get off the ground, or if you're sitting there going, okay, I want to start a business. I'm ready to go. I just don't know what kind of business to start. I don't know what products would sell well. Bring your notepad, my friend. Absolutely. As you and I work through the material, you'll want to take detailed notes. You don't want to miss this. I will see you there next.